Good morning guys. Well, as the title says, we are doing some trailing arm bushings on the CRV and got some camper arms and some tow arms. But yeah, uh, this guy was in the freezer because um, they go in a lot easier if you freeze them. So that's why I pulled them out of the freezer. Um, I watched a YouTube video like real quick last night just to see what's on uh, YouTube on these things. And uh, first video I ran into was a good one, but it was super long. I'm going to try not to waste your time if you're planning on doing this in your car. I'm going to show you how to do it real easily. Uh, no special tools. Um, basically, I'm just going to cut them out and use a hammer. So. All right, one thing you want to do is take note of the position of this guy before we take it apart. And if we look at the center pin right here, one side is longer than the other, okay? So this is the short side, and this is the long side. That's how this thing installs. Those toe arms are going to replace this arm, and the camber arm is going to replace that arm up there. You're going to need to disconnect this brake line first, just a 12 millimeter. You're going to want to get it out of your way so you don't cut it in half, all right? Yeah, toe arm here, just a 14 mil. I love working on this car. Nothing's ever really tight. Okay. Now, let's go after the trailing arms. These are going to be 17s. So I am doing this on a Honda, but a lot of cars are like this. A lot I have trailing arms like this. Okay, let's move this down a little bit. Okay. Alright, she's loose. <laughs> Alright, this is how this is gonna go down. Go ahead and disconnect the camber arm up front. Or up top right here. It's gonna be a 12 millimeter nut. This is gonna give you uh, some more play as far as the whole arm goes. And if you look at the bushing, um, I'm gonna put a piece of wood in between the bushing and the car itself to lower it down so we can work on it. You can see how bad the bushing actually is. But we're gonna need to get this center piece out, this rubber part out. All right, let's get this thing out of here. <laughs> yeah, good song's on, good blade. Should do the job. But what you can do now is you can pretty much just hit this with the hammer and collapse it in and then try to bang this guy through. You just try to create a little bit of space, okay, just, just enough to where that bushing isn't grabbing this big old knuckle, you know. A little bit of sandpaper. I want this kind of clean. So the new one will slide right in there. Yeah, so you can see I didn't really go all the way through it. And it was enough just to let the tension out of it. All right, fresh out of the freezer. Just remember the long side goes in. Just stick it right in there. And I'm just gonna hammer it in. So it's nice and cold and the metal shrunk, so it should be all good. No problem. So what you wanna do is you just wanna get it flush here and flush here, and it's good. So two hammers will let you get in there. We'll All right, I'm happy with that. All right, it's really not too bad. Uh, yeah, having two hammers helps. You don't really need this big, huge, heavy one, but it's the only one I got. If you had one, because it allows you to get in there. Because that piece of wood is kind of in the way. Yeah. And you can hit it. But I'll just throw the camper arms in now, and those tar arms. We're good to go.
Got that cheap toe arm. <laughs>